Kia ora, good afternoon everybody in my 10 Science 1 class. I'm looking forward to seeing you gentlemen on uh, Thursday and Friday this week when we return to school. Between now and then I'd like you to look at a couple of things. I want to boost your skills in this little area. I want to revisit Punnett Squares and do a couple more questions uh, similar to last time, but um, uh, these ones sort of explore the idea a bit further. Uh, move past there. Last time I gave you these questions on page 144. And you can freeze the video, sorry, pause the video if you wish to, but then we'll hear the answers. If we have got not purebred, that means the uh, have got um, heterozygous, so we've got the uh, dominant and the recessive together. Well, there's four possible outcomes. The dominant could pass through and then the uh, recessive could pass through on this one and this one. And therefore, you've got four possible outcomes. One of those outcomes produces a homozygous, uh, one, of those, one of those outcomes will um, produce a, a homozygous recessive uh, offspring. In other words, it'll be a white rat. So we've got three chances out of four, or 75%, that will have a black offspring. One chance out of four, 25%, will have a white offspring. And if the rats had 16 pups, we would expect about four, but it could be random, it could be different, but that's what we would expect. That's useful. Cool, moving along. We did this question here. A purebred white rat is mated with a non-purebred black rat, and then a pure breeding black rat is crossed with a non-pure breeding black rat. What we're going to have here for these two is um, the purebred white rat will come through with the lowercase b. The non-pure bred would have capital B, um, the, the dominant and then the recessive. So you're going to have a, two chances out of four of a heterozygous or a black rat bubba, and two chances out of four, 50% of a white rat bubba. Cool. Now, a non pure breeding black rat, this is one here, which has got the recessive information hidden in it. Rat mates with a pure bred black rat, which has only got the dominant. And so, therefore, we've got Two chances out of four of homozygous dominant, two chances out of four of heterozygous. All of those chances will produce a black rat, so we expect 100%. That's really useful. Moving along, we've got a couple of questions here on page 145, and I've put this here so you can find it in your book. Um, the upright uh, ears is dominant. The allele for floppy ears is recessive, we use a lower KC. Um, and this one here would be. Um, capital E and ca capital E or capital E little e floppy ears is only little e little e alrighty uh, and anyway moving along we'll do these ones next time I'll give you the answers next time have a crack at these and have a crack at those and I will talk about them tomorrow and then we can uh, start checking things on Thursday and Friday thank you gentlemen I'm looking forward to seeing you again farewell see you later